So this question says the line with equation y equals ax plus b. I always rewrite equations. It's just a habit that I've created. Where a and b are constants. Okay, good to know. These are constants. So a, first of all, before I even keep going, this looks a whole lot like y equals mx plus b, doesn't it? So I have to assume that a is my slope and b, as usual, is my y-intercept. So a and b are constants, has a slope of negative 2. So what's that telling me? That a is equal to negative 2, right? So, and passes through the point 3, 8. Okay, so if the slope is negative 2, that means that uh, my rise over run is negative 2. If it goes through the point 3, 8, that just means that I have an x and y value that equal, or I have an x value that is equal to 3, and when the y value is equal to 8. What is the value of b? So we're trying to figure out what b is. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, y equals a, x plus b. I'm going to substitute the a that I know to be negative 2 because I know that's the position of the slope. And the question said that the slope is negative 2. So we write this as y equals negative 2, x plus b. The question then told us that the line goes through the ordered pair or the point 3 comma 8 in which case that means x is 3 and y is 8. So I'm going to replace y with 8. I want to replace x with 3. And I still have my b here. And now all I have left is a solve for b. So this becomes 8 equals negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus b, adding 6 to both sides here, leaves me with 14 is equal to b, and therefore the answer is 14. Right, so I really focused my attention on what did they give me and what are, what are they asking for. They gave me y equals ax plus b. I understood that that is in the exact same format as y equals mx plus b, which means that a is the slope and b is the y-intercept. They then told me that the slope is negative 2, which means a is negative 2. They then told me that it goes to the point 3 comma 8, which means x equals 3 and y equals 8. When I fill all that in, which is at this stage here, the only missing variable left is the variable that they're asking for, b, which I can just do a little bit of algebra to solve for.